In this video, we'll have a look at how we would carry out the picking process in inventory management only. So, we know the concepts of picking. Now let's have a look how to configure it. The first thing you would need is to make sure that the item category is relevant for picking. We'll have a look at this configuration in a little bit. We'll also have to ensure the requirements are set for picking. And there is a picking location so that when we do the PGI, it's something there. Lastly, we want to make sure that the system is not relevant for WM or lean WM so that we only pick in IM and not WM. So now let's go to SAP and here's the delivery I have. Let's just execute uh, the transaction to change delivery. So VL02N, I have my delivery number here. I press enter and to do picking for IM, I just have to update the pick quantity here. I put quantity of 5, press enter, and you can see the overall pick status has been set to C, which means complete. And if I go to item level, it's also been set to C. And if I were to save this, it's done. Now, that is the most simplest, straightforward way of picking in IM. All I have to do is update the picking quantity in the field, save it, and that's it. The delivery has now been picked. You can also do the picking via VL06. As you can see here, there's a picking option. Um, and if I put in the quantity and I execute, as you can see now, if I execute here, it then selects the same delivery. If I highlight it here and click on the change icon, the pencil icon here, it will go to the delivery. It actually runs VL02 in the background. And you have again the option to update it. So, just to recap, VL02N is a good way to update the picking for an individual delivery. And VL06, and if I choose the picking button, is a great way to say, show me all the deliveries that I have to pick for the day. Maybe based on that, you then, based on the whole list, you want to pick each delivery and, and pick it and then confirm it. So one is a single transaction and the VL06 is more of a mass work list transaction. So now let's have a quick look at the two configuration items, the item category and the picking requirements. So let's go to SAP and we'll have a look at them. So we go to SPRO, we go to IMG and we go to logistics execution, shipping, picking and let's have a look at the relevant items. So as you can see here, I have the item category and I have the flag that says is it relevant for picking or not. Um, so now let's jump and oops, let's have a look at the picking requirements. So the picking requirements just controls when you are allowed to do picking and there's a bit of code behind it that does some checks and if it doesn't work uh, that check doesn't pass, you can't do the picking. So, for example, requirement 111 is the default one for SAP. Um, and if you had a different requirement, you would create a brand new one and you would assign it to this picking here. Now, let's have a look at what 111 is. If I go to picking here and I look at the code, it's pretty simple. It just says picking is not allowed if there's a credit block and it just checks a field here. So if you wanted something else, uh, this is where you would put the routine. Yeah? So to recap, the picking flag only updates, uh, or when you set something for picking, it only updates that field that says uh, picking. At the time of post goods issue, the quantity in the pick must always be equal to the quantity in the delivery. And I have suggested before, if you only do IM picking, it's better to turn off uh, the picking requirement because if not, you would have to confirm the picking and then you would also, if you had a delta, confirm the delivery. Sorry, the delivery quantity. So it's easier to turn off picking if you only had IM, then when you pick, when you confirm, uh, you confirm the delivery quantity and that's it. Just one up field to update. Uh, also for returns, it's good not to also confirm the picking unless you have um, WM turned on explicitly yeah okay 
So that is picking for inventory management.